Hey designers, welcome to week 14. And uh, I just have something to tell you right up front. As you know, last week I gave you the week off. Essentially though, to give you an opportunity to make up some work. Over the course of this class, I have had students contact me on a regular basis and tell me how difficult things are and how um, challenging the assignments were and how much time things take. So I thought what I would do for last week is give you guys the opportunity to make up assignments. There are a number of students who, because of the challenges that they've been facing and, and the time difficulties that they've had, uh, had, were not able to complete all of the assignments. So I thought for week 13, I would give you guys an opportunity to do that, to make up some of the work. And I even gave you the opportunity to make it up with less um, loss in the points that you would get normally. Well, guess what happened? Like only one or two of you decided to make up any of the work. <sighs> As an instructor, that's pretty disheartening. Um, it's hard for me to make the connection between all of the work that you guys are talking about having to do and not seeing much action work being made up over week 13. So I just kind of want to let you know that. Um, and yeah, so whatever that, whatever that means to you, uh, I just want to let you know that um, it wasn't nearly as successful as I had hoped it would be. Uh, so I doubt if I'm going to do that again. All right. So Enough of the bad news, let's talk about the good news. The good news is we are in week 14 and we are starting with the final. You're going to have three weeks to do the final assignments, plural. Don't think for a moment that you can wait till week 16 and kick it out. It is not going to happen especially since the result I got from week 13 where I gave you guys a break. I have calculated things due for every week, week 14, week 15, and week 16, and you are going to have to stay on top of things. You are going to have to get to work right away in order to get any sort of decent grade out of these final assignments. So let's talk about the final assignment in the big picture. Uh, the purpose of the final assignment for everything that you're going to do in the final assignments is to show me what you've learned. Show me what you can do. Now, this is the case that you would have with any sort of job application or portfolio or getting into art center or anything else like that. A designer has to show what he or she can do. You got to show what you can do. That's what these final assignments are all about. You showing me what you can do. So you're not going to get as much detail in the assignments. You should know how to organize your files. You should know how to do good Photoshop work. You should know the process. You should know all of those things. So I'm not going to lay those out step by step for you. Instead, I'm going to be a little bit less detailed in the assignments and hopefully you have learned how to do the process, how to create good Photoshop composites, all of those things. So just think that way. I need to show my instructor how good I am at this Photoshop and design stuff. Now in this assignment, or I should say assignments, the ultimate thing, the ultimate deliverable that you are going to be turning in is an advertisement for a fantastical vacation destination where you are going to composite a really cool photoshopped environment, fantastical environment. And then you're going to take that environment that's going to happen during week one. I'm sorry. That's going to happen during 
this week, week 14, and then you're going to use that environment for creating an advertisement where you're going to start adding text and other things. That's going to be in the second week or week 15. So week 14 is working on the process of creating this fantastical environment. Week 15 is working on the process of creating the advertisement. And then week 16 is refining those, turning those in, and also taking a test about how well you can critique a before and after uh, commercial art piece. All right, so that's really the whole thing for week 14, week 15, and week 16. Now, one thing about this week I want to point out to you is that everything is due on Sunday, technically, but you have to complete your comps before Sunday. You have to go through the process and complete your comps before Sunday and post them for critique no later than Saturday, and I strongly recommend you do it even before that, Friday, Thursday, if possible. The earlier you get your comps up, the earlier that you can critique and the earlier that others can critique your work so you guys can move on to the next stages. If you wait till Sunday to post your comps, nobody's going to be able to critique them and you're not going to be able to take the critique information and um, evaluate that and the good stuff put into your final assignment file. If you don't do that, uh, you're going to get a zero for the discussion assignment, the critique assignment. So get your comps up before Saturday or by Saturday. Also, read everything before you even start. Read this week's assignments, everything, so that you know what you're faced with this week and make sure that you map out a plan and get it all worked out for you. I want you to know that these assignments for the final are going to be strictly graded. Uh, there's not going to be a lot of flexibility on me trying to interpret what you mean in a critique or the edges of your selections or all of these things even the naming of your files and the organization, all of these things we have talked about and done over and over. You should know them by now. So you are going to be strictly graded on all of these final assignments. All right. So week 14 is up and ready to go. I will be having week 15 and week 16 up quickly this week. Week 14 is part one of the process. You're going to do the process work and turn that in. And by the way, if you have problems turning in the process work, I'm asking you to turn it in through Canvas, creating a zip file and uploading it to Canvas. If you have a problem doing that, then what I'd like you to do is upload your zipped file to Google Docs and send me a link to, or I should say, share that Google Doc with me and I'll be able to download it. But also in the Canvas assignment, you're going to be able to add the text, hey Steve, I uploaded the uh, assignment in Google Docs so that I know you did that. All right, so that's about it for this week. Part one, again, just to re-emphasize it, is about the process work and you're getting your comps done for this fantastical environment and then you posting those comps for other students to, to critique, and you're going to critique other students' work. That's all due this week. Next week, you're going to do the same thing, only working with the advertisement. And then the final week, week 16, you're going to be putting that all together and finalizing that, adding detail and just refining everything, making sure it's perfect, and then taking a before and after critique test. That's it for the next three weeks, but I'm going to keep on top of things through the announcements and the announcement questions and other things to make sure you are making progress. Do not delay. Do not procrastinate. This is a three-week assignment. 
start now. See you later.